Hello, beautiful people. Man, it has been time as always, and honestly, I understand. I, I take a little bit of time going forward, but today, I just want to talk about my journey into massage, quite frankly. And I hope you don't think like I'm being too woo woo right now already with starting off with the incense, but this is literally how I do my days. I start off my day with having an incense. Um, usually every day, if not, I have a candle. Um, yeah, I've kind of been convinced. God dang, this actually won't stand up. We'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> so, um, I want to talk about my journey into this massage world. So I have been a licensed massage therapist now for 20 Four weeks I have done the math I've been crunching down everything and I want to let people know about how it is as a new massage therapist in the industry giving this stuff a go yep and I knew this wasn't gonna work okay sorry about that so I have been a massage therapist licensed massage therapist for now 24 weeks I have given 399 massages. I've literally just sat back here and did the math. And I've averaged about 16 uh, guests a week. So I'm working on 16 bodies, anywhere ranging from the average. I, I didn't want to do too much math because I'm just like, I'm not trying to go back to school. <laughs> you know? So um, I... On, on the most average, I, I typically give 50 minute massages since that's kind of the industry standard to give 50 rather than 60 and 80 rather than 90 and 25 rather than 30. That's just kind of the thing now. And on average, um, I have worked on 16 people a week. Sometimes it could go higher, sometimes it could go lower. Um, another thing is I work about, I work six hour shifts, so roughly about 24, 26 hours weekly, and I mean, I've been getting a living out of this, right? <laughs> Able to do, I've been making more money than I've ever had, and I mean, I've worked at UPS, a moving company, Target, I've sold phones for a little bit of time, and literally, this has like been the most rewarding work both financially and I mean like I just feel better about the work that I'm doing knowing that I'm helping people consistently you know because a massage I mean it helps with like muscle tension circulation overall hormone I can't talk hormone uh, regulation and various various other things and I hope to learn as much as I possibly can in this industry right uh in the past, I made a video about me learning a little bit about cranial sacral, and that work is absolutely beautiful, and it really opened my eyes to the fact that I don't need to be putting my elbow on people for them to really feel a difference in their, um, I had a word in my head, and I was really about to like spew it out, and it just literally left as I was about to say it. But, like, just feeling the differences in people's movements that I'm able to kind of help facilitate, it just feels absolutely amazing. Especially when people are, like, really thankful about it. Which, for the most part, if you're a good therapist and all that, people tell you all the time that how much they love your work. And, I mean, it's kind of like a double on other than the fact that you're typically getting tipped. Um, I'm not going to go into the the money aspect too deeply because it's just like I'm a beginning massage therapist I'm gonna get paid lower than people who's been in this industry for over 15 years and it doesn't matter how whatever my ego might feel like ooh, I might be better than this person or that person because none of that shit really matters it just matters if I'm doing good work quality work with all the people I'm doing so over the duration of me working 16 guests a week sometimes more sometimes less uh on average like i said i work six hour shifts so about five hours and 30 minutes i'm working on it i have one 30 minute break which 
some people may not like, but to me, I feel like I'm really getting an intro into the industry, right? And I've been, let's say, I'm standing on my feet about 21.2 hours a week. I've literally done the math. So 21.2 hours of the week, it's been 24 weeks, I did the math, and it doesn't account for the days I might have called off, or days that I picked up extra hours and all that other stuff, because I've done both. So I would say, um, if I was to do the math exactly, it has me at 487.6 hours of work in the massage industry. So I would more so say it's anywhere from 450 to 500 or maybe 550. I don't know. I really don't care about getting the exact number. I just want to kind of put this stuff out roughly. Um, I've been learning a lot in this industry. I've already felt my massage has changed dramatically from my schooling. And I love it. <laughs> it's fun. There's only one thing that I can say that I do truly dislike is the fact that I'm starting to, like, in school, I was starting to really feel and discover my body then. And I'm feeling and discovering my body even more so than ever now with all, like, the little aches and pains of being a massage therapist. Because, I mean, oftentimes I'm extending my wrist a little too much or or doing like ulnar and radial deviations, which kind of don't feel normal to the wrist, being that, I mean, I've been doing all types of different jobs. My body's not used to this. So it's just like, I have like this soreness showing up in my wrist, where it's just like, if I've been, I believe that's ulnar. See, I'm, I'm not the best uh, anatomical with everything, but it, it's just like, every single time I pinch down here, I could feel all the tension building up. And sometimes when I'm giving a massage, I feel like a low back glute thing. And it's like a slight pinch. Nothing, it's annoying more so than painful. So those are like the two things that's kind of been sitting with me. And that could be just because of the fact that I shouldn't be moving my wrist the way I am. Making it so unsteady. And I shouldn't, there's certain stances that I tend to take that I know isn't uh, healthy as I'm like massaging somebody. But the goal here now is to talk more about massage content on this uh, channel alongside with various other things that I'm going out and experiencing. I want to have fun. I want to be teaching about the world of massage. The world of massage is so freaking fun. Um, I know I've said so earlier, but I've learned about cranial sacral only a little bit because there's levels to that stuff. And I mean, like, I think the intro class is like, 1,500, it's anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000, just for level one. And I hope to get into craniosacral learning more, but there's plenty of other massage types that I wanna learn. Like, I wanna learn a little bit more about Reiki because I'm starting to feel myself getting deeper and deeper into uh, the energy aspect of what it is to give a massage because there's no way you touch bodies for a living and you don't feel energy to me at least you know i'm not gonna uh put this on anybody else in the industry because i mean at the end of the day this industry is massive it's massive i i don't need to really say anything else there's too many opinions and changes on everything from health energy spirituality anything with body discovery it's just insane there's way thing there's a way that things are and have been forever and a way that things will be in the future and it's about trying just like really I hope I didn't use that wrong. It it came out of my mouth. I sometimes say things and don't really think twice about it. So please correct me if I did. <laughs> um but it's there's gonna be things that work that don't work that I'm gonna figure out learn say things say wrong etc. Um, I hope to learn a lot about this industry and continue on in about 487 weeks or we'll just round up to about 25 weeks and 500 hours of massage you know for for the title uh, <laughs> in about that time frame I've learned so many different styles. I want to learn deeper on Thai massage. I want to learn more on cranial sacral. I want to learn on 
Ayurveda theory. I want to deepen my resolve and understanding of TCM, which from my school, uh, Pacific uh, Health and Sciences. I learned a lot from my teachers and who who knows I might be able to showcase them on this page someday and that would be absolutely awesome but for right now if you want to become a massage therapist or receive a massage receive a massage look into it because I mean I feel like I've definitely upgraded my sense of being as a whole See, I don't think what I'm saying is just going. But I feel like I've been able to level up in ways that I haven't been able to with any of my other jobs other than Target. I feel like I've actually gotten really good with talking from Target because I was selling stuff to people. But that's besides the point. Um, this is such a great career. Even if you don't plan on staying in it forever, it's a great career. And I think that learning how to give a quality massage, even if you're not trying to be a full-blown licensed massage therapist, just learning that to give it to your family, loved ones, partners, siblings, cousins, children, friends, like, you, you literally... It's nothing more rewarding than that when you can actually see that you've made a difference in someone, whether in mood or physically. It, it's just nothing beats that, quite honestly. Um, and I want to get deeper into that alongside mixing in fitness, because quite honestly, I ain't going to lie. My biggest issue now that I'm in this industry, and I'm going to just say this, I'm a baby man. I've, I'm horrible at cooking. So I've been spending about like anywhere from like 100 to 200 a week on fast food. And I need to get better with that and start cooking. So this channel will be getting deeper into just learning, full on discovery, being an adult. Because as you see, I'm giving this one star right now. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to sub, sub, like, comment, whatever. I greatly appreciate anybody that decided to watch this. I talk in spurts all around, so if you was able to catch on to the jumbled mess and feel like you've learned something from this, thank you. And peace out, Collective. Thank you for coming through. So a side tangent, too. Um, you know, I was talking about, like, the spirituality stuff earlier. Um, a perfect book for anybody that's, like, trying to get into just figuring out their goals their future their resolve in life their personal legend whatever please read this book the alchemist